So in our research to find out if, in fact, a government can cloak an entire planet in outer space to deceive us so we cannot see what is actually there, we've uncovered a lot of information pertaining to this. And yes, it is possible. And yes, they've been working on this type of technology for more than 50 years. And the possibilities are very, 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 very serious that they can actually do this. The first article we've uncovered come from, comes from uh, Popular Science. Very quickly, metamaterial space-time cloak conceals not just objects, but entire events. Now, this goes into some very technical information, some of which you may not understand, but it is worth reading because at least you can start to understand that they actually have scientists working on this for governments around the world, specifically the United States, Great Britain, uh, Russia probably works on this, and also China. There's another article here, Engineers Create Optical Cloaking Designed for Invisibility. Once again, they are using this technology to cloak very large objects. They have the ability to do this by bending light and deceiving you. Now, we're going to go ahead and jump into this uh, video that comes from Space.com. Very intriguing, and it's definitely worth viewing. So take a listen. Cloaking. It's one of the coolest technologies to come out of Star Trek, right alongside phasers and transporters. But is it science fiction or just plain science? Is it actually possible to make something look like it's disappeared? Dr. Andrea Alou of the University of Texas at Austin thinks so. With funding from the National Science Foundation and the Department of Defense, he and his research group are working on new ways of cloaking objects in their lab and have had some impressive results. Cloaking is an attempt to reduce the visibility of an object. So if we were trying to uh, reduce the visibility to humans, then what we would try to do is to suppress all the uh, light waves that get uh, scattered or get bounced off the surface of an object in all directions and for all observers. There's a lot of people worldwide that are working on cloaking right now. It's very hot topics, very exciting right now. And they all have different approaches. Um, but this one's very unique. We see things in the visible spectrum, a very narrow portion of the electromagnetic spectrum composed of the different wavelengths that constitute color. Light waves bounce or scatter off of an object and return to our eyes, which are effectively sensors that detect color, shape, and other features based on what scatters back to them. When something scatters, what we look for is how the field is perturbed around the object. So if nothing's there, we actually see kind of a plane wave going by in time. When you put the object there without a, without a cloak, what ends up happening is it bends the wave around it a little bit, and it also scatters it in different, different places, so it'll create like shadows behind it and stuff. Current Folks, this may be some of the reasons why we're seeing all of these light anomalies and shadows and all of these different types of objects in the sky. Thousands Tens of thousands, millions of you have sent in photographs, and some of these are completely unexplainable. But now there's the possibility that we will be able to explain these anomalies in the sky. There is the possibility that the cloaking device that they use, whether it be satellites in space or cloaked from the surface of Earth, the possibilities are there, the science is there, and leading all the way back to the Philadelphia Project, where the United States government was trying to cloak a Navy warship, and they actually did it. But when they brought the ship back to its normal sitting spot in the harbor, where it was docked, all of the sailors on board, a lot of them, were actually stuck in the metal of the ship. They died. The government told their families that they were killed in maneuvers. The Philadelphia Project. Now, all of these years later, it seems that these governments do have the ability to turn 
things into nothing. And they want us to believe that what we aren't seeing, well, it's really not there because they're hiding it. And the fact of the matter is, checkmate, mate, down in New Zealand, we're now getting into and finding out and investigating cloaking. So the possibilities of this being conducted and the hiding of Planet X are very, very serious. And why would the government not use this technology against us so we could not see this planetary object or see a lot of things? This technology was first used against UFOs. So people were not able to see what was actually in the sky. They don't want us to know that there is life outside of planet Earth. And we all know that that just has to be impossible. As vast as the universe is, there has to be other life out there. But the government just doesn't want us to know. They don't want us to know anything. They just want to keep us as slaves on this planet. I'm going to include links once again to all of this information. You take the opportunity and investigate all of the links, read the material, listen to the material, watch the video, and come to your own conclusions. Are we being lied to? I believe so. But then again, folks, that's just my opinion. And I value my opinion. But there are people out there that want to change your mind. They want to deceive you, and they want to lie to you, and they want you to think what they want you to think. They want you to be a slave on this planet. They don't want you to know what is actually up there. And what is up there has the ability to take your life, destroy your family, and the threat is imminent. The threat is there. So heed the warning. Do, the, do your own investigation. The information's out there. They can't suppress everything, but eventually they will take the Internet away from us. That much is a fact.